Well, it's very much in favor of Liang Jinkun, and he's won the last three of those. We'll give you a bit more detail on that in just a bit. Uh, these are two top 10 players, as uh, Fraser alluded to earlier. Of course, they both played a little bit higher in the rankings, both inside the top three. Our umpire for this one is Patricia Liu of Singapore. Yeah, I wonder if it could get a little feisty. She might have to get involved. Let's see. Players, please come for the toss. <laughs> well, just being asked to come yeah. over, but a couple bits more of advice, Fraser. Every little helps. Can't say I've seen a player yellow carded before the match has even began, but they like to take their time, don't they, the top players? Especially the big dogs. That alpha mindset it's that they've got no one's uh, bossing me around. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do my own thing, thanks. <laughs> no, they're very, very respectful players. I have red and black. What do you choose? Black for Harimoto, red for Leong. Red, Liang, you win the toss. Receive. Harimoto, which end? So two minutes of warm-up here. We'll get to know the players a little bit more. Two minutes. Uh, then we will get proceedings underway. So Liao Jinkun is now 27 years of age, uh, fifth in the world at the moment. As we said, he was a, a former world number three, 11 years a pro. 78% win rate for Chinese players. Some, most of them, the, the, the top ones anyway, the top three that we talk about, all above the 80% mark. But plenty of world championship medals, particularly in teams. Got a silver in 2019 as well in Budapest. Tomokazu Harimoto, he is the prodigy, is he? Already making a mark as a teenager. He's reached uh, the heights of world number two. Already beating some of the best players in the world at the age of just 14. There are some of the event details for things like table, floor, ball, and record prize money. 1.5 million US dollars. And of course, look at all those points on offer, Fraser. Really Two important as well before thousands. the Olympics. That could take a player who's 100 in the world into the top 10. That weighting of pointage right there. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to this match. You can see Ooh. all of you fans out there have gone in favour wow. of Tomokazu Harumoto. 54%. You can cast your vote at worldtabletennis.com underneath the match centre on the schedule section. Now, this is interesting because... Uh, of all the Chinese players that we've covered here, I'm pretty sure that's the first one that's been given less than 50%. Yeah, I go with fans. that. Interesting. Now, what, what do you feel? Is this is this pretty much a 50-50 for you? For me, it is a 50-50. I mean, the difference maker in the past has been the Liang Jinquin forehand. Tomokazu Haramoto is a bit more stubborn, a bit more of a table hugger. He likes to stay close and change the direction of play. The backhand down the line has been instrumental in his success over Chinese players in previous years. He's already beaten the likes of Ma Long, Fan Jin Dong and Wang Chi Chin. He has beaten Liang as well before, but that was quite some time ago. Let's see what happens here at the marquee event of 2024 so far. First game, Harimoto to serve. Love all. One love. Well, that's one way to get started right off the net for Harimoto. This is the last round of best of fives. It'll become best of seven from the quarterfinals, the next round. Did well by Liang Jinquin because there was a back end of Harimoto that was so shallow and spinny. This yeah. was the one and he adapted well. With a really physical counter there, the Chinese. Rally the 
that ended with Liang Jinkun winning it. He's got such a slingy forehand, hasn't he, Liang Jinkun? Look at the angle there. The transfer of weight is probably the thickest set Chinese player in the A team. Built like a prop forward in rugby. Two, oh. Haramoto really, really bulked up, but it looks like he's slimmed down a bit in the last 12 months. Yeah, I remember a lot of people suddenly came out one day looking really built up, didn't he? <laughs> he was enjoying his chips Two. at the buffet, that's for sure. But can he cash in here? Well, he's known for his pretty feisty celebrations of points. But well, he's happy with that one, isn't he? This is what makes this matchup interesting in terms of personalities, because we've seen Liang Jinquin so animated as well. The reaction against Hugo Calderano at the 2021 World Championships comes to mind. Two, five. Well, that's always disappointing when it happens. It's a nice lead here that he's got already. A three-point cushion for Harimoto. Five, three. Nice touch play. Denying Harimoto the opening attack. Soft hands near the net there by Liang Jinquin. Such a subtle change. Sometimes you can be caught out. Six, three. This is very, very strong here from Tomokazu Haramoto. What are you liking so far from him? Just the aggression, the body language. Playing to win. Yeah, he's seven. such a competitor, isn't he? There's a pressure already on Liang Jinkun. Deja vu. Haramoto comes in with the backhand flick. Can't recover out quick enough because of this shot. With his famous red and blue shoes. Haramoto with a four point cushion here at the business end. Yeah, this is looking good for the Japanese player. Lin Shidong and Liang Jinquin are the only two Chinese players remaining at the top half of this men's draw. Yeah, there'll be some stunning results. And Eight, five. Exits of uh, some big names. Lin Shidong playing Timo Ball and the winner of this match will play the winner of that one in the quarter. <laughs> Cracking backhand. Five, Such wow. a compact stroke, all that racket speed. Dismissive from Tomokazu Haramoto. Oh, he's two away from taking a one game lead here, Haramoto. Six. Yeah, he had to kind of adjust, didn't he? He was a bit cramped, Haramoto. Haramoto is winning his points with the backhand cross table, and Liang is winning his points with the forehand cross table. That's what we've seen in this match so far. Nine. Andrew Kuhn making an assault now on that lead. Trying to put that pressure on. Oh, now then. <laughs> he was so comfortable, wasn't he? <laughs> if this was the second game, there'd be a timeout here. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Now, oh, can he withstand the pressure? Oh, what oh. a spin from Liang Jinquin. He was in trouble, wasn't he, Liang? With the score as it was and the momentum that he had, that is a fantastic bit of shot selection. How spinny and deep it was. Haramoto froze. He had to keep his foot on the gas there, the Japanese. Look Six at of that. Last eight. That's huge for Liang Jinquin. Display. He's got the serves as well now, the Chinese. Oh, this is a big moment. Five. 
feeling. No! Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> that was massive for Harimoto, who's got a slender game point. His fanning backhand was immense. It took a lot of physicality there from Harimoto to spin it. That was clutch. Yeah, it really was. So Wakazu Harimoto has taken the first game. He had to work hard for it towards the end, but that's a tremendous result for him, isn't it? He will take that every day of the week. If Liang nicks that first game, if he burgles Harimoto, it'll be tough to recover from mentally. But he gets over the line by the skin of his teeth. So 11-9 to Harimoto in game one against Liang Jikun. Well, look at that. There's so few of these seeds left. Some of them leaving us quite early on, in fact. But Wang Chuqing leading the way, and Liang Jinkun there. He is number five. Felix Rebron is on uh, later on, and Lin Win Ru also still in there. Honey uh, Moto, of course, is the world number nine. Last year, he had to leave early after being dispatched by Quadri Aruna. A superb display. It's a star studded lineup. Yeah. I'd say that Montre Chin, the favourite to take yellow the title, for time wasting. he gets a yellow card. Harimoto, yellow wow, card time both of them. Both of them. You, you, you were kind of uh, almost foreshadowing this earlier on. <laughs> Before we even started. Second game. Young to serve. Love. Very oh. rare you see it, but I think it's fair from the umpire if she's already won them yep. both. Yep, fair point. But they've got, they've both got to tread on eggshells now because another yellow for misdemeanor or that again, and there'll be a point deducted. Yeah, just keep an eye on that. Well, you'll see them, I'm sure, moving pretty sharpish now. Whistles it through there, the Anjin quick. Had to really get on his tiptoes to get over that ball. <laughs> Loving the transition. Yeah, very nice. Many of the top senior players won't play a backhand twice. Haramoto is an exception. Maybe that was the thing holding him back. Now he looks more willing and ready to play his forehands. Well, he mixed it up there nicely, didn't he? A couple of forehands and then a backhand to win the point. He's been the biggest threat to the Chinese. He took down Fan and Wang at the World Champs. He's taken down so many of them. They've had to really study him. Three, two. Oh, beautiful. From Nanjing Kut. Liang is the man who hasn't got the highest career win rate out of all of them, but he has got one of the best head to heads against Haramoto. Three, oh. Seventy-eight percent, Liang Jinquin's career win record. Yeah, we were talking about how it's a little lower than uh, some of the other Chinese stars. Well, slightly different feel to it. Remember, Harimoto was racing away. He was 
7-3 up at one stage in the last game. Well, he manages to take a a two-point lead. That would be uh, sorry, a two-game lead. That'd be huge for Harimoto. You, you mentioned that he's one of the biggest threats to the Chinese dominance, uh, Fraser. And he's got an impressive thirty-eight percent win rate against Chinese players, right? That's right. He's beaten a Chinese player 19 times in 50 meetings. And just to put that into context for those who may not be so familiar, Net. the average the is below 5%. Right. So that's, that tells you something, Five doesn't it? Could be a turning point here. Yeah. The serve just drifts maybe a little bit too half long. But Hadamoto maybe was a bit rigid. Didn't seem to be a plan B, did there? Seven, five. Yeah, now he's starting to move away here, yeah, Lajin Kun. Yeah. We seem to take a bit by surprise. Liang was revving up for a very risky flip, but yeah. probably didn't need to do it because there wasn't much spin coming in. Had a motor just floated the touch back. Into the middle, then wide to the backhand, catches oh. the edge, but it's still a good combination from Aramoto there. It doesn't matter how these points come. You will gladly take them in this scenario. <laughs> One of the longest rallies we've had so far. So kinetically, Angin Quinn. Such a busy body. It's nice control from Haramoto, just sponging up those attacks. Then Liang, again with the alpha, comes in and says, enough is enough, you've had your fun. I'm not going to be toyed with. Well, I'll tell you what, Haramoto is still in this level of terms here. Beautiful little guide flick there from Haramoto down the line one of the strongest forehand flicks in the game so that was a bit of a bluff <laughs> right smile on his face well, he was in position but Liang had really greased it there from mid-distance. Have you noticed how Liang is now just trying to go back a little bit more from the table? He's given himself two game points here, Liang Jinkun. He's given himself the time and space to play the biggest strokes because what he's saying there, Liang, is, OK, Haramoto is getting a bit passive. Still in there, Harimoto saves one. Different from the guided flick that he plays, that one was higher. Comes in over the top at the peak of the bounce. Another must win point to deny Liang this game. Time up. Liao. Well, Liang Jikun has called for a timeout here in game two. He's still got a game point in hand.
one of the most followed players in the game, Haramoto, because of his fearlessness, because of how he's taken on the very, very best. Yeah, as you say, without Nine, ten. Well, that fear. One game point. The timeout called by Liang Jinkun. Let's see if that will help him out. Oh, 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 right off the serve. Harimoto. A long high toss serve. Liang couldn't calibrate his receive. Lucky Kun has a third game point here. Well, oh, serious faces, isn't it? All around. Well played. That was an impeccable backhand. He saved three game points so far. Harimoto. I was worried for Haramoto there. I felt like if he went into the backhand again, Liang would have him. Can the Chinese do it here? He's got a serve. It's alternating juice. He does indeed. He gets a fourth game point now. So important. Remember, Harimoto wins this. He goes 2 0 up. That's a long way back for Liang Jinkun. Oh. He saved the fourth game point here. Harimoto. He's got the minerals, Harimoto. Liang is afraid to be hitting rock bottom here. Serves back with Liang Jinkun. Three-time World Championship bronze medalist in singles. The favourite coming into this encounter. Finally, he gets his first game point. I imagine if he converts his very first one. That's going to be a huge blow for Liang. The pressure is right on him, isn't it? Oh, he's done it! Harimoto has taken the second, having survived four game points. Looking to get his revenge from the World Championship quarterfinals in Durban. Harimoto, a game away from getting through to the quarters here at the Singapore Smash. What a moment here. So, Tomokazu Harimoto has taken the second game 14 12. He leads 2 0 here against Liang Jikun. <laughs> Miyu Hirano is all smiles at the moment. And she is having a very, very good event so far. She's up against fellow Japanese player and good friend. Mima Ito. This one has got a really good story as well behind it. We will tell you all later on. Time. Well, Fraser, 2-0. Kind of I know we had a, a real battler of a second, but I'm not sure many people would have had that down as a at, at this stage, 2-0 to Hanimoto. Capable, but not probable, looking at the 5 1 head to head that Liang has over him. Yeah. You wonder how the Chinese coaches deal with things when a few Chinese start to sort of be deleted in the draw. We've already had three massive uh, deletions, as you're calling them. It's becoming a bit of a graveyard here in the men's draw. Yeah. And. If you were a Chinese coach, would you be putting more pressure on them, saying you need to get your act together? Well, or would you be sympathetic? Because, I mean... Others have gone out, right? So Liang, say, oh. Liang's got extra pressure on him I here. I think he'd be facing that pressure, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, but look at the uh, 
momentum at the moment, certainly with Harimoto. Just six to the last eight. Reverse pendulum from Liang. Two. Oh. Trying to change the rhythm, give himself some extra time on the third ball. The intensity here of the eyes of Wang Hao. <laughs> the clapping as well, there's a real. <laughs> There's a ferocity to it. Three, two. Got it. Well, I think, you know, before we even get to the quarterfinals, potentially losing. Three, we saw that, oh. that graphic earlier of all the seeds, the, the top eight seeds. To be losing, Fandring Dong, Ma Long, Ling Gao Yan, Liang Jing Kun, before the quarterfinals. Before the quarterfinals. Wow. It would leave this defeat. Lin Shidong as the only Chinese at the top half. Wow. And Wang Chuchin is the only remaining Chinese in the Lin Shidong, of course, who Four, beat Fan Zhidong so convincingly as well. It was the manner of his victory, I think, that really captured the imagination. He's the world youth champion, Lin Shidong. Just to say again, he's playing Team Mobile on the winner of this. We'll play the winner of that. Let four three. Got an all German clash between Franziska and Ocherov. UNESCO of Romania facing the silent assassin. Four. Lebrun four. against Christian Carlson. Assar against Sheriff Kamal. And a couple of other big matches as well. <laughs> but yeah. If you're a betting man. Probably have to remortgage your home if you bet on this event because of how many upsets we've seen. Four, five. I mean, if, if Harry Moto goes on to win this in straights, that is a remarkable achievement, isn't it? It really is. To beat the Anjin Quinn at all has been an achievement that barely anyone has managed to manifest. Six, four. But he's doing well here, Leon Jing Quinn. He is in front, though, at the moment. Oh, it's still alive, this one. Oh, he was looking at the counter now, wasn't he? What a retreat from Haramoto, but the oozing control of Liang Jing Quinn, just dabbing on different ointments of class. <laughs> what a joy to watch. Twiddles the racket to smash with the softer side there. Adds all that side spin to make it tough to counter. Yeah, it looks like he just felt a little stuck there. Liang Jing Quinn has won six of the last eight now. See how quick the momentum has shifted. Four, eight. So now, this is sort of the reverse of what happened in the first game when Harimoto was in a similar sort of position. And then Liang battled back to make that very interesting. Can Harimoto do the same here? Fraser's already thinking about the, the old very hard to win three straight games and you'll always see a 2-1 at this stage. So many of these players have a lot of clout in this sport and it's tough to just dismiss someone in straight games even if you are playing well. Nine. Opportunity there for Harimoto. Looks like we're going to see Liang take this game and then, well, who would you say has the momentum? Yeah, they'll be looking to Let's drag this out. Nine, five. Take it to a fifth fan still streaming in. Well, they're in for a classic at the moment. This could be... Ten, five. Five game points for Liang. What he's done very well this game, Liang, is slow it down initially. Span the ball and then gone with the more direct one off the passive. This is the recipe for success to come back. 
So Nanjing Kun has actually taken the, uh, the most one-sided of the games so far. He'll be uh, a lot happier with that. Nanji Kun wins the third game 11-5, but he's trailing 2-1 here to Tomokazu Harimoto. fourth game here remember because we are Liang still himself. in best Love of five ball. before the quarterfinals if Harimoto wins this game he takes the match One, no. so that the pressure's still on Lenjin Kun no doubt pressure's on both of it, it's an adversarial sport yeah Harimoto was 2-0 up Liang's just taking a game there'll be some demons in his mind Oh. How good was that from Harimoto? The forehands that Harimoto was playing there reminded me of the ones against Fan at the best point of the 2022 Worlds because look how perfect he played it. That was nearly around the net. Yeah, it looked it, didn't it? One, two. Yeah, they've upped the ante, these two. Off the flesh, Look at how dominant he has been. 12 of the two. last 16 have gone to Liang Jin Kun. So, really, Haimoto looking to shift that back in his favour. That's a massive, massive show. I don't think anyone's had as much momentum as Liang Jin Kun has had there. Takes the lead here, Hanamoto. It's funny because after those two yellow cards were shown at the same time, I felt like it would have suited Haramoto more. Why is that? Because they were both feeling the pressure to come back and serve quicker, and I felt like that would suit Haramoto more ah. than Liang. Three. Oh. Well, this serve there, Liang Jikun. It's when the rhythm has been constant, Haramoto has been better. But when the rhythm has been changed, when Liang has tried to slow things down initially, which he's better at than Haramoto, there's been some light at the end of the tunnel. That's how he won that last game. But Liang here has tried to make a statement by going back to playing Route 1 table tennis. And Haramoto again Audience, is in the lead. Please, no flesh. Maybe expound a more a bit on the uh Root one Four, table tennis. Three. One pace. Just constantly, just fast and furious. Yeah. We're not trying to mix oh. it up enough. Mm. But that's the name of the game, isn't it? Variety is the spice of table tennis. Oh. The edge. <laughs> you might have just heard it if not seen it. An immediate acknowledgement there from Harimoto. Look at this. <laughs> oh man. 
to a pill to swallow for Leo. That could be all the difference. You never know. Now, players just got told, get on with it again. Very, very tight, this one. Cuts right under that post there, Liang. Changed it up, went into the backhand of Haramoto. Wide serve. Oh. Five, Just six. absolutely hammers that back. <laughs> That's got no chance getting to it, Haramoto. Transfer from Liang. Brute force. Ah. Off the corner. Very deep shot. That's massive from the big man. Wow. <laughs> you know where you need to be right now. Yes. Well, if you're thinking about coming down to the Singapore Smash, I don't think you need much Seven, further encouragement five. watching stuff like this here. Tickets still available, by the way, over the next few days. Ends on Sunday. Eight, this has been a really important run of points for Liang Jinkun. It's amazing how fast it can change. Yeah. And that fact is what can stall a player when they're in the lead. Alimoto got very, very quiet. Got into a shell almost. Six, eight. He needed that badly, didn't he? He did, otherwise he'd be 9-5 down. Yeah. Into the middle of the softball and then... It's a better forehand. He's got quite a big stroke, Haramoto, on the forearm, which can cost him a bit of time in between ah. shots, but he's been working on that. Six, nine. Leanne has been so stoic, actually. Yeah. Just gri gritty, isn't it? It's unflappable. Look at that back here. Six. Really clinical from Liang Jinkun. Four game points. <laughs> Just too good, Liang Jinkun. This has been a tremendous fight back. They it's level things here. It's the first time we're going to ever see a one-set shootout between these two. Stay tuned for game number five. Eleven six to Liang Jiquan. It's two all now. talk about him shortly but look at uh, some of our champions over the last eight months there's Liang Jinkun who won the contender at Taiyuan but uh, he knows how to win and we haven't really seen too much from his opponent have we but just uh, going back to Wang Hao there and he was saying to Liang Jinkun I told you believe in yourself you can do this and have that confidence to do it. It's just about reinforcement, isn't it, sometimes? Give Final them the self-belief. They're on the, the self. level where no. they know oh. how to win. You don't want to be preaching to the choir. But it is about the belief. If you don't have that, you've got no chance. One, but no. it is a brand new game in game five. Yeah, and I think you're right. Shootout's the right word because you, you clear the decks now. You don't worry about the two all anymore. What happened before? It all comes down to this game. 
and you can see maybe it's a red rag to a bull. Yeah. Maybe he needed that little fire under him. And we talk about success at a very young age being a dangerous thing if you're not able to handle it. No. It's one thing to achieve something, it's a different thing, a harder thing to maintain it. Liang is the more experienced player. The Haramoto's just had as many big matches at the later round of events. Yeah, he knew the uh, net played a big role in that uh, Harimoto. Played in Durban at the World Championships last, in May of last year. Kenjin Quinn winning that 4 2. Three. Light speed table tennis once more. Harimoto trying to create certain juxtaposition, certain contrast between blocks and attacks. But Liang, who has been the player throughout this match, has gone a little bit further back, is able to generate more intimidating, explosive strokes. Level things up here, the Chinese. Now it feels like they're just going to trade Time points, up. aren't they? And there's a timeout time being called. Remember, Liang hasn't got any more because he called it at the end of the first, second game. looking to reach his first ever Singapore Smash quarterfinals. Liang, of course, is a former semi-finalist in 2022. Lost in the round of 16 last year. Four, three. Level terms again. Left. <laughs> Four. Oh. It's funny how Haramoto has to change the ball there after that. Is there a bit of superstition? Could be. Oh, oh. So, what was going on there? Nervousness, perhaps, because oh. he barely made the first, yeah, and then mucks up the second. Yeah, look at that! that was the perfect height for that's a gift, isn't it, to Liang Jingkun? Yes, it is. Wow. Four, five. Yeah, right. Probably the, the first serve that just about made it over. Well, let me just try to overcompensate there. Now he's got the serves now, Jin Kun. Well, who knows that was 
two valuable points on his serve. Gone, Harimoto. And he can try and make it back here. Wow, this is becoming tough to watch how tense it is. Despite how enjoyable it's been. But who's going to enjoy the process in this moment? No flesh, please. Tell you what, the guy who was two up is going to be kicking himself. Six, five. If he doesn't go on to win it. Harimoto. It's in such a good position, and you could. What a fight back from him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> could. Some of the shots he's pulling out. Jaw dropping. That one there. Plenty of Team China fans in here. There'll be many more as we progress towards the latter stages of this event. Oh! Six, <laughs> seven. How vital could that be in the final reckoning for Harimoto? <laughs> I can't believe it. Second time that's happened. Still in this. Wow, six. what a flake though. Got to position very early. How low he is, like a praying mantis to the engine quick. Players, please play. Again, I'm told to move quicker. The vital two point lead for Liang. He's laughing to himself, Riley Liang Jinquin. He's saying this guy's been to church this morning. Table tennis gods have blessed Haramoto a bit more in this decider. Could he level the Japanese? Oof, all to play for. Seven. Oh, frustrating for Haramoto. been cat and mouse touching yeah. distance and then Liang just managed again to find a bit more push almost there Liang Jinkun two points is the lead and two points is the lead Seven. three match points for Liang Jinkun Players, please continue playing. What can Harimoto conjure up here? Ten, One eight. match point saved. Surely there's not going to be another <laughs> twist in this sale. Well, rem remember the one where Harimoto. He was, he had to save four game points. Look at that. Oh, that jaw is doing overtime. He has not lost that intensity in the entire match. Yang Kun is through. Yang wins two games to two. To the quarterfinals again. And he's had an almighty comeback as well. Tomo Kazu.